Hi, this is Ian with Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions. Today we are going to be changing the cassette seal in the Statum 5000. First thing I'm going to do is separate the top from the bottom. I'm going to set the bottom to the side. That on its back, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to get behind one of the corners and kind of pry that out. Once I have that pried out, the rest of that seal should pull out. We are going to set that off to the side. We do want to inspect and make sure there is no rust or anything on buildup on the surface where that cassette seal is going to go. With our new cassette seal, we're going to take the provided lubricant. I'm going to use about half this vial. Pour it right there in the center. Set that off to the side. The new seal, take a couple of fingers, and we're just gonna lubricate this entire seal. I'm gonna go all the way around. This will help slide this into place. Once you're pretty well lubricated, I'm going to find the two holes that are at the back with the nubs and with the cassette handle facing away from me. I'm just going to set this loosely inside. I'm going to start in this back corner where those two holes are and just press that into place. We're going to do that with all four corners. You just want to make sure those nubs are pretty much touching on either side of the metal. Once all four corners are done, go to the back and I'm just gonna roll this seal into place. Do the same on the front. And that should be pretty well set. Last one I'm gonna do is take a finger and I'm putting it between the groove of the seal and I'm just gonna kinda work it around and make sure that those nubs are getting right where they should be. Some of the corners can be a little difficult. Just make sure your fingers are well lubricated. And on the back, we're going to inspect and make sure that the square blocks are lined up. If they are a little off, you can take your finger and slide it until they are correctly positioned. I'm gonna wipe out the rest of the oil that is left inside. This will leave a residual water on the lid of the cassette. You can use stat dry to make that water leave a little bit easier. Last thing we're gonna do is put the cassette back together. You should get a good squishing sound as the cassette goes together. If you have any questions, please give us a call, 704-966-1650, option three for free tech support. Thank you.